Welcome back. Politics now and Limpopo is back in the spotlight this morning. The province's legislature must now decide whether to debate the DA's motion of no confidence. And we'll give you details. The opposition party says that Premier Kassel Matale has done a terrible job there and it's time for him to quit. Well, let's talk to analyst Ralph Mateja now, who's an expert when it comes to this particular province. A very good morning to you and thanks again for your time. Well, the DA's attempts to table this motion of no confidence, they're nothing new. They've been blocked in the past, but the political context has changed. Many would say that uh, Kassel Matale is now facing a so-called no uh, confidence vote from within his own party. How do you see this playing out? Yes, indeed. The, the climate has changed and then uh, I think that the tables have turned. You know, uh, and I think uh, here the DA is just finishing off the, the job that uh, the ANC leadership has begun by, uh, you know, stripping Mr. Matale of responsibilities. Uh, we know that uh, he's running the province, but he's no longer taking major decisions. The, the province actually it's effectively almost under what you can call a caretaker type of government. So I think that uh, this motion, it will be interesting in a sense that uh, if they table it and discuss it, it will give us a sense as to whether the ANC itself, the legislature, uh, uh, the, the ANC dominated legislature, how does it feel about Mr. Matale? My view in the past, uh, you know, I've, I, it's, it's, I think he should have resigned because presiding uh, as a premier and not being able to make those decisions, it does not really make sense, you know. But when, when the decision was made that uh, the Limpopo uh, PEC was dis uh, uh, had to be disbanded, that I think was the main indication that he had to, you know, uh, move and, and resign from that position. So is it likely that uh, ANC members in the provincial legislature will side with the DA on this without facing uh, a necessary reprisal? Well, the, 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 if you if you gauge the mood, the, the national, you know, the, the, the ANC, mood, the mood of the party, there is a possibility that some members of the ANC might uh, agree with the DA on this one. But I think uh, if, it, if, if it was going to be, if it's going to be debated openly, I think that uh, the members will be much more circumspect. They might not express their views openly. And they might, if, if the vote is going to be carried out in secret, he might end up being, you know, relieved of his responsibility. But I still think that the NC will be very careful not to be seen siding with the DA uh, 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 on this issue openly. Well, let's take a look at uh, the Premier's track record. Uh, under him, uh, Limpopo ran up a, a two billion rand deficit. We know the textbook saga as well. Uh, five departments under administration. You've just mentioned that. Uh, does he have a leg to stand on? Anything good that he can say, look what I've achieved while I was in this position? Unfortunately, there is nothing uh, good that you, you, you could point out from Limpopo under his administration. As you correctly stated, you have the, they've got a two billion rand hole in the budget, and then uh, you know, and they are not even in a position where they can make any decision. They cannot even initiate any rescue package or maybe some kind of a way to reinstate themselves because they are not in charge. The fact is that uh, they, they cannot even award major tenders. I was looking at the report that uh, there was a decision also to reverse the buying of the land, I mean, uh, uh, by the, uh, uh, the, the the provincial human settlement department. I mean, if they cannot make those major decisions, the question that I ask myself is, why are they continuing to serve in government if that is the case? And how important is uh, this particular province when it comes to the ANC and going to the elections? I think that is very critical because if you look at uh, the ANC's provincial t uh, share of the votes, uh, I think Limpopo came second, if not first, after Mpumalanga or so, when it comes to the highest amount of votes. And I think that uh, the, the, the conflict that we have seen in terms of leadership in Limpopo is going to be reflected in the next election. There is no coherence in the province, and it will be very difficult at this point to try to build that in time before elections. And I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to see uh, the decline of the ANC share of the vote, not radical decline, but there on the margin, something like 4% or 5% decline of the voters' share compared to the previous elections. That, I think, can be expected. I think let's stray a little bit from uh, Limpopo and take a look at the ANC uh, nationally, if we may, for a second. Today's strike, teachers' strike, we're seeing the unions again up against government calling for the resignation of Angie Mutsekha. This growing rift between the union and the ANC, what do you make of it? You know, I think the ground is shifted when it comes to the relationship between the ANC, you know, and the unions. And some of uh, 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 speculations were that that had to do with the leadership 
leadership uh, debacle within the ANC headed to Mangaung conference, but it seems as if that is continuing. The unions are trying to reposition themselves when it comes to how they represent the workers and also how they are being perceived by the general public uh, 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 in South Africa. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid the ANC seems to be much more distanced from the union. And what we are seeing between Satu and the Minister of Education, it is something that I believe that uh, the general public will support that. There's been calls for the minister also to resign. It seems as if the minister continues to get protection from the president, but generally I don't think she enjoys so, such a support. It is up to the union to choose in this case that, uh, you know, uh, should they be seen as siding with the general public or should they be seen as prioritizing their alliance with the ANC? And in this particular case, I think they are concerned about their integrity in the eyes of the general public. And that is why I think they are continuing to push for her resignation. Well, that's a matter we'll continue to unpack. Thank you so much for your time. Political analyst there, Ralph Mateja. News that moves. ENCA.com.